people like dinosaurs. People of all ages like the dinosaur show. The buoyancy show was the number three show, but for some reason we just had it dialed in. I remember by the third show, we like we got it going on. And um, uh, people like Food Web. The people like, but the other one that's very popular is the uh, paranormal, the para, um, pseudoscience, the pseudoscience show about how you fool yourself, about how people make you believe, make it look like they're ghosts, but they're no ghosts, and make it look like they're UFOs or rather alien spacecraft, but there aren't any. And that's a very popular show among science educators. And the probability show is popular, where we had uh, a single red styrofoam peanut buried in millions of other styrofoam peanuts, and then you had to pay a dollar to get every styrofoam peanut. You'd probably lose. You would not make money on that. And it just sort of drives it home. I, uh, I did an ad for the Washington State uh, Lottery as a young actor starting out. And I got to say, I was naive. I thought Washington State, when I first got there, there's only a million people living there, like fewer than Studio City. <laughs> and uh, I thought the lottery would be fun. It's great for people. It's fun. But not, looking back, the lottery is, I don't like this is controversial, but the lottery brings in a lot of money for states. But it is effectively a tax on people who have not learned, we have not, taught math. So in a sense, the state's responsible by the state. I mean, the public school system's responsible for not educating people about how you always lose the lottery. And then we make money off those people with a lottery. So that was a, looking back, that was just a learn, being a young person and a learning experience. Yeah.